Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and that is my 14 by 14 inch grass and this is, if you can see it, I'm not sure, my digital version of a butterfly because I think I want to stick one in there. And I'm going to close my phone out so I don't kill my battery. It's about 90 some odd degrees under this tent. I've got methods to keep myself cool. This is my green chalk. This is what I use to make the vaguest outline of a butterfly. I grabbed myself some iridescent pink and some purple flash from Folk Art Color Shift. The iridescent pink I can't do much of anything about, except for you could make a pink and then you could add the golden iridescent pearl fine to it. So I don't really know how much of that I actually want there, and I can wash it all off tomorrow. And I'm going to give myself the dull end of my skewer, and I'm going to just give myself the bare minimum of what I might want dotting a butterfly into place. And I'm going to need to be fast, because this is the kind of day paint dries really fast on. Hopefully I can do as good a job as I did on digital. Digital was easy because when I was editing the picture, I could start with blobs and then use a little clone tool to, to remove areas and made a funky little butterfly. I've got some blue, Venetian blue from Modern Masters. Yes, I believe it is. And that may be my body. This doesn't have to be terribly complicated in my opinion, just basically because the iridescent shimmering paint will make will make it beautiful no matter what. And if I combine colors, actually that's got to be a little bigger because I just schmutzed up. And I'm just going to keep enlarging that until I like the way it looks. And I could certainly use one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas instead, but I want there to be an abundance, well, as much as there can be, an abundance of paint in the areas I'm working on, short of a little squeeze of that color shift, because I still want to put the blue down. I'm hoping my head is not in your way. I'm just going to use the other color right there, too. I know, it might be a little cliche for me, the pink butterfly, but that's what I want. It doesn't have to be realistic, it just has to be a butterfly. It's a little bigger than the one I did originally, too. It's just an impression. And I will drop a little blue in there, and we'll see how that goes. Come on. I checked. <laughs> you were available to me before I started this. And that wasn't very long ago. I kind of want to take some of that, put it right up the center. Oh, I'm not sure I like that. Maybe I'll like it better when I do it on the other side. We can hope. Like I said, it's not, I'm not trying to have it be realistic. I'll just add a little more over here. And it's an obviously dry canvas. I'm just swirling around. You can pretend spirals. Just sort of mixing it up. If I don't like it tomorrow, I can add a little more paint. It's not perfect. And neither am I. <laughs> a 
kind of like that, removing a little bit of paint with my finger. No, not that one. So I can touch up that white if I want to. But otherwise, I'm not unhappy with that at all. I'm just going to grab one dot, two dots, some antenna up there, maybe a little bit of white to cover up my schmutz spot. And a clean skewer so I don't have any chance at all. There. No big shakes. Butterfly added. I got all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> I got little... Sp mm. Well, that's a tomorrow fix, I think. Unless I can scrub it. Yay, I can scrub it. I'm using my fingernail ever so gently on the little pink spots. I got splatter somehow, some way. Just put that white back where it belongs. Right there. Show you guys. There's my butterfly. I got a little green chalk around the outside edge. I'll remove that later. Whatever those are. My hands aren't dirty yet. This is my first foray today. So I do sell my artwork. I appreciate it when you share my videos. If you look for uh, created playlists under all playlists, you'll find 14 lists of 100 and the rest are genre and separated by topic. You will uh, be able to find all over print leggings and t-shirts underneath the video on Teespring. If you shop my Amazon link, it's at no added cost to you, and you can find the OXO omelet turning spatulas there, and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. That's the number five. My go-to is the number one. You can find all kinds of stuff there. It's really a good place to go check out. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Your comments keep my morale up constantly. Thank you so much. If you are interested in the possibility of winning a painting and you want to make a donation to help keep the studio going, look for PayPal or Patreon and you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. You can find the exhibition video on the end screens of any video on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzell. There is another channel, uh, Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzell Art, and there are no commercials over there if you're interested in checking that out while it still exists. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you have subscribed, thank you. And if you watch the videos longer, you help my placement on YouTube, and I really appreciate that very much. Check if your notifications are on. The bell doesn't always make a difference. And um, I think that's about it for right now, other than the fact that on the link tree are all of my links, Sachi and my Google website and uh, Find Art America, Pixels.com. And if you want to find a Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors shows you the uh, the created artworks from YouTube videos and the albums. And Expressionist Art Studio... Oh! <laughs> There's a couple few of them. Anyway, uh, Totes and More shows you the shop now button. It'll also take you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com. So I love you guys. There's 87,000 of you plus. Almost 87,100 today. I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a simple butterfly. Just cause, finally, I've been, everybody's been waiting forever for that. So if I don't like it tomorrow, I'll fix it. But today it's just funky, funky butterfly. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you.